The problem with mass transit in Los Angeles is cars and continues to be cars. Um, there are more cars in the city than there have ever been in the history of the city and there are more people than there have ever been in the city. Even our light rail tra trains have to compete with cars, which is really unfair for a city like LA that's spending so much money trying to build out its transportation system. When you ride back to downtown, I mean, one thing you'll see is that Expo zips right along through Mid-City. You get to uh, USC or the museum and then it really, just like the Blue Line does, you enter downtown and it slows to a crawl. But there's a very slow journey from the USC area to downtown Los Angeles where the line crosses a number of intersections at grade, uh, crosses a few freeway on-ramps, and has a junction which is, wasn't designed for the volume of uh, rail vehicle traffic that it has now. You get into that area and suddenly there was a dispute over, well, who's going to have priority. And I think in a real way, the transit line in that fight lost, right? Because the blue line and the expo line, it, not only do they have to sort of navigate with each other, but now you're in a congested urban environment and the cars in a real way do have priority. And I think this comes back to, if we're serious about this, if we're going to spend hundreds of billions of dollars on it, we have to do it like we mean it. And that means, you know, in the areas where we have these lines, they have priority over the automobile. There's the greatest opportunity is probably just changing uh, expectations and the paradigm for how we manage traffic operations on roadways. So understanding that additional vehicle delay uh, is worthy trade-off if you're going to speed tens of thousands of transit riders a day and actually attract new ridership. We still have a lot of difficulty giving transit vehicles priority. We still have a lot of difficulty talking about parking reform. So I think that there's a lot of work that's left to be done if we're serious about making Los Angeles into a different kind of place where people have a, an ability to move around in a lot of different ways.